Beach Games, and I'm the guy that made Bannerman, and today I'm going to be uh, playing through Bannerman with a couple of my mates, and um, we're going to be, <laughs> yes, that's it, and we're going to be uh, talking about uh, the sort of development and um, how everything went along with it, but I'm just going to get us started here, and I'll hand off to someone else, because we're going to be um, drinking upon and taking a death, and because I'm... Woo! Because I'm the uh, the guy that made the game, I tend not to die when playing this. So, um, <laughs> so I'll just get it started here oh, to way, start so with. That's the drink while you just press this. You could do a um, just an expositionary death, so we can show. So I just want people to see the title. <laughs> <laughs> All right, right. I'll do it. Ex yeah, actually, no. There's one coming up. There's a guaranteed death coming up. So okay. why don't we do that? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I'll just talk to Mitch here. Everyone does the do the voices. Uh, Haley, if you can do the voices and make it more in. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, nothing, nothing yet. yet. <laughs> Scouts of Dubuque. Sure Sounds way. just wow. like Mitch. Yeah. Yeah. like Game of Thrones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Thanks, Daenerys. Um. <laughs> 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 oh come on, mate. We wanna. Oh, oh how oh, are the men? <laughs> oh, the men. No, I'm skipping that one. <laughs> right, so I'll we'll go over to uh, another one of our mates, Ash. You know these aren't real people, mate. They are. <laughs> But if you go this button, then you crap that one. <laughs> the top buttons do. <laughs> oh, yeah, the banner. You got the banner! Yeah, banner. Alright, so here comes our intro scene. Oh, that's why it's called Banner Man! Mm. Like Banner Man hasn't got his priorities straight. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's his first day on the job, he's saying. He's like, so just go Oh, I'm going to be dead soon. Yeah, that's right, that's probably it. Alright, so let's check out the tutorial we're here. We actually had a good question on the audio forums about whether or not you can actually beat this guy. That's right, no, you can't. He's, um, he's a guaranteed um, death here, a loss. Um, he's not like the, there's a vanguard in Demon Souls, at the very start of Demon Souls, um, which is a boss that's sort of similar to this, that acts as a tutorial, you can beat him, you can't beat, uh, Rainbow here, the first time you're encounter. There we go! I'd probably give up then. Meanwhile, in Wormsley, didn't. <laughs> is that just named after Doc? Yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> Shout out to Doc. Get a, get a shot there. Oh yeah, sure. Alright, so I'll I'll make our way through the um through the first level and sort of demonstrate how the game works, and then I'll hand it off um to someone else to complete um keep playing. Hey, you're going yeah. next, is that right? Yeah, I'm in the next player chair. Okay. Actually, yeah, we should work like that. Yeah. All right. Like a Tetris scenario. Mm -hmm. So you want to bring it back to gaming. <laughs> See what the block that's coming up. I'm not calling you a block. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to be L-shaped. Uh, dig in a hole. <laughs> so, am I tripping or like uh So you're in a bat- Oh, sorry. Uh, Lucas was asking about levels. You were in a battle recently, I, I believe, and uh, and you lost. So what happened? Sorry, was it the time pass? Did you just sleep over? Yes, yes, that's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So had a bit of a nap. Okay. Um, yeah. So he, he just ends up sort of knocking you out and leaving you there for dead, sort of thing. I tell you, the more I hear about this better man guy, the more I <laughs> question his work ethic. <laughs> oh. This is a, this is the first enemy type. Um, you'll come across, you come across him throughout the game. His name's Bunt. Nice. Bunt. Bunt, perfect name for him. Um, you can see he only has the one attack. So, um, <laughs> so if you get hit by Bunt, it's, um, it's pretty embarrassing. It's a little bit sad. It's a little bit sad. You should not, never get hit by Bunt, because all you got to do is just do that, and you'll never get hit by him. Pretty rough, though, because he's just trying to do his paper. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> Getting bunted? Yes, yeah. that's getting bunted. <laughs> I don't know if there should be a drink for that long. Yeah! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Drink! 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 Drink!
gems down the bottom, you held some red ones. So the blacksmiths can repair your armor. There we go. Neil's got all my armor back. And there's Haley's little cane over there. Yay! That's, that's lovely. Haley just tells you to piss off, basically. <laughs> it's very like me, isn't it? Yeah, yeah that's, that's very similar. <laughs> so, all the leaf over here. And that's my bird. That's how it's bird. I like mm. the oak birds. Yeah. How did you get it so loud? <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh. Do you have like an amp? Like, <laughs> Who do these birds belong to, Harley? Look, they visit sometimes. Yeah, they're, they're not, they're not just mine. Just take it outside. I do like how the weight in this is actually really high. It's historically accurate. That's <laughs> right, yeah. As opposed to the uh, gladiator scene where he's brushing his hands. Yes, the ankle high, 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 high weight. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, if they did... If, if they were trying to be accurate with that, you wouldn't actually see them at all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so this is just a, another little tutorial message to let you know that you can use heavy attacks to ruin armour rather than just beating away on them. I'm going to ignore Mitch and the commander for this one. I'll be like, see you guys later. <laughs> I'll fight the, uh, the spearman up here. Everyone's favourite enemy, this one. Now, since you're really good at this, mm. and um, you won't die, mm. I can ask you questions while you're playing. Right? Yes. You'll be fine. Go for it. So I had one here, actually, from the YouTube comments. Fire Zone. I don't believe their name is pronounced. Fire Zone. Fire Zone. Or Fire Zone. Alright, fire's out. Um, they wanted to know, did you plan out the whole game before you started, and how did you keep motivated? Uh, yes, I, I did. I, so I planned out the, the whole thing um, right at the beginning. I did um, what you call like a game design document. So I basically wrote everything out um, and how I wanted it to go. Now, like, like I didn't end up sticking to that 100%. Like things changed along the way. Mm. But um, but yes, I did, I did sort of start out from the start with a certain thing in mind. And I think I got pretty close to that. In terms of um, staying motivated, I guess I just... I don't know, that's sort of a combination of things. It was right. it was hard at times, and other times I just sort of... You just gotta to look towards like the end result. Right back when you, when you like first started... Like when you, when you first decided, I'm gonna make a game. Yes. Was it always this sort of game? This, for this, yeah. Um, yeah. Basically like... Because uh, my, my game I finished prior to this was uh, Berserker Quest. Um, the, so Berserker Quest, the game that's I made that game because I wanted a co-op dungeon crawler. And that's yeah. the sort of game I wanted to play. Um, I started making this game next because I wanted to play a game that had sort of the right kind of combat. Yeah. That um that I wanted to do. So like when I make when I sort of make a game, I'm just trying to make a game that I would want to play. Yeah. More than anything else. Yeah. Uh, question from the, uh, oh. the, uh, your audience, uh, what, <laughs> why are you fighting a gay farmer now? <laughs> He's mad, you're lost. He's mad, you're Disturbing the wheat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there we go, so that's the, that's the end of the first level now. I'll hand it off to Haley for the rest of it, because, um, yeah, otherwise it'll be kind of dull just watching me stomp everything. Yeah, I want to <laughs> That's not, that's not how the game works, so I'll... Might actually shuffle across. Oh, I need next player to sit next to me now. Otherwise, oh, I'll be John. lonely here. Done. <laughs> Jump on over, like John. that. Synergy. <sighs> Smooth. Ooh, oh, one thing geez. I've been wondering, Mike. Yeah. Um, it's obviously historically accurate with the sword gliding and whatnot. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, where did you learn that? Ah, so, um... Because I know that you rotoscope this, so you actually perform these moves. Yeah, yourself. so there's, there's this thing called, um, it's called HEMA. So HEMA is basically a, um, a bunch of guys that sort of have collectively decided to, to look at, um... We have these, like, historical manuals for sword fighting. Yep. So, that, like, back in, like, the whatever century, 15th, 16th century, people drew out, like, little diagrams of how they used the sword, because... And they used to sell these to other people, so, like, oh, so these, yeah. these guys would be like, oh, I'm a master, like, fencer, I'll teach you how to kill a guy that tries to attack you in the street by my book. So, um... <laughs> well, you got to make it Yeah, yeah, that's it. So, so that's not too much different from now, but, um, like, yeah, so these, 
these guys basically go back through these old books and try to make sense of what they've written and yeah. shown and that sort of thing. So it's it's all basically from that. Like so, it's not all from one specific Source, century yeah. or anything yeah. like that. It's kind of a hodgepodge, but yeah. it's all it's all pretty reasonable sort yeah. of stuff. Like, but some of them like the um like the the strong attack where you swing the sword around the the wrong way around. Yeah. That's something that was shown through a lot of them. Like there's okay. um, and that's when you when you sort of think about it, there's like a guy wearing armor. You're, you've got a sword, and the sword's just a bit of metal, and you're hitting another bit of metal with it. It's not going to do anything if you, you're not going to cut him ever. Yeah. So you, you've got to. Nice yeah, so you, so. So you kind of turn it into a club. <laughs> this is the idea with it. But um, yeah, some people are like, oh, why don't you cut your hands if you, you know, you're well, wearing you're wearing gold, then, you? Well, even even without, it's like it's they're not that sharp. It's like yeah. grabbing the sharp bit of an axe. You know, yeah. like it's it's not going to. Um, Really it's just not like a nice brand new kitchen knife sort of thing. Yeah, that's it. And even if you do grab that, if you just grab it and you don't run your hand along it, you're not yeah. going to cut yourself. So, yeah, it's kind of, I don't know, like, yeah, put the puff around as you're wearing gloves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how can you die someone so you hear that strength again? That's pretty <laughs> great fun, wasn't it? Oh, the one I wanted to know in the questions was what was your favorite hilarious bug slash glitch that you discovered during <laughs> yeah. the development? Um, that was for uh, one of the enemies, which we haven't come across him yet, he's a, a guy with a shield, we'll probably come across one uh, in this level so when they first get introduced. Um, when I, I sort of first had him in, because um, he was the first enemy I actually did up, yeah. and I was doing up the blood effects for when you hit um, the enemy, mm-hmm. and I went up, I just kind of coded the in and I went, oh yeah, that looks about right, and I went to test it, and instead of just, when you hit him, the blood comes out, it basically did the blood animation for each frame of animation that you were slicing <laughs> through him, which is which is about like 120 frames or something, so, so it just ended up spraying out everywhere, and that's probably my favourite one, um, so far. everything else has just been kind of irritating, to be honest, it's things like, oh, I'm trying to go through the door, and then I end up somewhere else um, by accident, so... Yeah, that's probably the best one. Back off, mate. Haley loves us humans. Oh. Oh, Lord. I thought I was going to get right there. Get right. Haley, you are smashing it. Now I just want to see the blood just spray it. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, that's pretty much what it sounded like, too, because every time I played it, it also did the animation also played the sound yeah. or so it was um yeah, yeah. It was, I, was, I was actually wearing headphones for that it wasn't real good <laughs> no it's your shortcut that's my shortcut ah. I'll come back to you later shortcut <laughs> Haley's been kind of the, the main tester for this basically mm. like, Haley's played through this game probably, probably about as much as I have Especially in the last couple of weeks leading up to it. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, initially the stamina worked differently in it. Um, you could always keep attacking, but when you were low on stamina, you were um, your attacks and your movement and everything was slower. Oh, I thought I thought that was a great idea. And then when you first sort of testing it after a bit, um, it just makes everything feel unresponsive when you were low on stamina. And because you, you, there was no direct real penalty for running out, in that you can't attack or do anything for a few seconds. Everyone just always played the game on no stamina. Yeah. So, so, <laughs> so it just kind of made the game this like sluggish, like it was just horrid. Like, yeah. Some drink that, that was a couple of months in, I like, sort of went back to work. Hello, friends. Were there many other sort of things with the combat? Like that, where you just learn what you're going as far as testing goes? Yeah, like, um, there's a lot of things with, um, with the, the hitboxes that the characters have. Um, when when I sort of first when I was first testing it and putting it in everyone was basically just a tube that didn't actually where they where they could get hit and where they'd collide with things didn't actually conform with where they are okay. physically. So that like that obviously felt off you could hit the air in front of a guy and he'd get hit or vice versa. Um, in order then I ended up making it sort of pixel perfect to exactly where they are. And that still kinda of feels bad because if they kinda of just graze like you guys arm yep. yeah then he gets hurt so like the the end result is the the hitbox is quite a bit smaller than the characters yeah, are so you can kind cool. of swing if you kind of just a little bit short it feels right to miss rather than hit yeah and but that's that's the kind of thing that happens in 
like lots of games are like that, like um, a lot of those shoot 'em ups where you've got a little ship and you fly around shooting other ships. Yeah. Like the hitbox is normally about a pixel or two in the middle, yeah. so you can kind of graze everything and it feels bad if you get hit right on the edge of something. Yeah. yeah. Does he charge you to repair his armor? No, no, he's a nice fella. Well, that guy. Good guy, good bloke. Or he's in fear of you, so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He did just turn up before we covered in the blood of about 50 dudes <laughs> and go repair my stuff. Yeah. Fred, yeah. <laughs> that motivation. puzzle for uh, <clears throat> can be quite taxing. <laughs> so you gotta keep an eye on the environment. Oh, you get to, you get a, this is basically uh, a level up, pretty much. Um, you get like a perk you can pick. You're going to have to pick between these. They're exclusive, so you only get one of these and you'll never get the other one for a playthrough. Go on, enjoy. Not even if you ask real nice? Or no, no. Yeah. you get nothing. Yeah. I tried, I tried asking real nice. <laughs> it doesn't work. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's my shortcut. Yeah. <laughs> asking real nice, <laughs> DLC. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ask Took real nice. To really <laughs> That's what Mitchie's helping out, isn't he? Mitch. Yeah. Fucking Lord Randall. He does my nothing. Let go of Randall. Yeah. Such a pest. Randall's all right. Uh, see, if I've gotten the armor perk, I could have gotten that. I would have yeah, done something. I got stamina. Oh, does um, someone want to fight the boss? Yes. Give it to John, because you guys aren't dying enough. No, <laughs> no. no. We've both, we both played it so much that... John, how much have you played it? Uh, a couple times. Ah, right. <laughs> uh, this chicken. Oh. 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 Man, you gotta turn that dodge perfectly, don't you? Like it's, it's nice when you get the timing right. Yeah. But when, when you like screw up the first time, you're like, oh no, I'm out. Yeah, you kind of. You gotta like stop and like repace yourself. It's I a good press the button. <laughs> oh, you're so good at you're, you're just. <laughs> Shit. Like it's, it's like you're swallowing them. Yeah. yeah, it's good. This, this happens. It's like you miss the first one, you kind of yeah. end up missing everyone after yeah. that. Yeah. You're out of time. And you just. Don't, you got once once your arm is out, you might be in trouble. I like how you stumble back too. Actually, you got to be pretty quick to respond to the next one. It's just flaming on me. Get back. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Uh, Look at you now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Cut your neck, man. Nice. Press the achievement button. Achievement for that one. Is the achievement was next to the dream book. So, yeah, uh, uh, there we go, uh, achievement! Yeah! 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 This was like a, oh, this was just on the, the latest video that we put up, so there's... Oh, right. Okay. Insert disappointed meme here. <laughs> it says, uh, Murphy's Law, man, the day you need the connection for something important, it goes to shit and nothing works. Yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. As an aspiring indie developer myself, oh, where yep. did you start with this project? Oh, what was the planning process behind this very big project? I guess this is part of what you were saying before. Yeah, yeah, um, plan it out before you, you start. Just, yeah, oh, oh, there you go, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> so did you draw up like a particular storyboard for this? Oh come on, let me ask my question. <laughs> <laughs> <He's drinking. laughs> you just concentrate on dying quickly. <laughs> it's actually it's pretty much that <laughs> that question. Yeah, right. uh, so did you start with core mechanics and then environment and story? Um, what tips would you have for the noob community just getting started? Okay. Um, I start yeah I started with mechanics before anything else, so I did the um the even when planning out I planned the mechanics before I planned the actual environment and the, mm. the setting and things like that really outside of he's got a sword, um, mm. 
For the actual, um, in terms of tips for new developers, um, make it really small. Yeah. Like, like start with a really small idea. Like, even I was trying to, because it always ended up being a bigger idea than what you think. There's always more work that you think that goes into it. I yeah. thought this was a small idea, and I thought it'd be this done guy. here. This guy. And I'm taking two and a half, and it sort of ballooned out. What? And that was me trying to limit it. <laughs> and that, the distinction between that and feature creep is more like. Adding stuff at the last minute. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's kind of like I suppose you could call it feature creep, like as well as sort of yeah, that's like that's applicable yeah. as well. Like it's going to happen regardless. Yeah. Even if you start out, you're like, I'm going to make this one button game and it takes place on one screen, and it'll end up taking it probably twice as long as you think it will. Yeah. So you sort of, I'd say, if you estimate your time, how long you think it's going to take you to make it, I'd say double it and then probably add another half to it. Yeah, that's good. Good advice. Stay again. Yes. Shield guy? Um, There's a shield guy. Was he your first enemy? Yeah, first enemy I did. I did him. Um, actually, in the in the very te early, remember that mock up I did, like yeah. really early on. Yeah. It was basically he was going to be the main character. He was going to look pretty much yeah. like that guy. But um, I ended up making him a ginger instead, much to some people's disdain. Why did you make him a ginger? <laughs> I made him a ginger because it would stand out well against all the backgrounds yeah. and you'd always be able to see the character <laughs> and it would make for because I, I i made a limited color palette to work with of only like, i think it was about 50 or something yeah. colors yeah and i wanted a nice bright orange in there so i'm like i might as well and also because gingers are people too right? exactly oh, yeah, yeah. Well, it's, yeah it's, it's under representation <laughs> in games oh yes yeah that's it yeah <laughs> that's probably Ginger what, protagonist that's why he got the shit job of carrying the flag <laughs> yeah, yeah <that's> <laughs> I think the last ginger in a game was Bubsy, wasn't it? <laughs> Call it a game. Call it a game. Let's hope that this can reach the Actually, I'm trying, to think, I'm trying to think of like ginger. There's like the one in the game, I can't remember the name of it and I really should know because I played the shit out of it. The one with you, you got the, the time travel mechanic where you can rewind and go forwards. And like a new game? <laughs> yeah, it's an indie game. It was like a few years ago. It had a very distinct art style. Oh, is that... Oh. Um, I can't remember the name of it, and I feel great. Like great, thank you. Great, yes, thank you. Yeah. Hey, Mark, is this one of the churches? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the <laughs> church. Yeah, that's that's the church that's down the road. Oh, <laughs> well, sort of. With a little bit of um, some other churches added to it. But yeah, there's the three church down the road from there. It's pretty much that one. Oh, really? You went out and took photos? Yeah, I went out and took photos and stuff like that, and then you've got to do that spread over. I'm really happy with the church, actually. Yeah. I'm happy with it so much you see it like four times in different distances. That's how happy I am with it. It keeps getting bigger. Just like in real life. Oh, dude, <laughs> here in the face. Oh, oh, that was nice, like that. Oh, there is. Hey, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, bitch. Look, Always I'm somebody's I'm son. <laughs> Always use the shield, you never stop using the shield. Yeah. yeah, you can only use it a few times. Oh, really? Yeah. Fucking Mitch just like hanging out like 20 yeah. meters Smoking away from where danger is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with his little posse. He's like, no, you got this. He's a nice guy, out. He obviously knows a better way. Like. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Batman's not the brightest man. <laughs> That's why he's the Batman, yeah. Batman's not the brightest man. <laughs> That's the old shortcut, isn't it? Yeah, it's oh, the old shortcut. Oh, actually, that's the old shortcut. Okay, it's the old shortcut. The old, the old, mm. the old shortcut. Shortcut. Oh, no, not him. Oh, I hate this guy. Oh, not him. Stop it. Oh, no. Not him. Stop it. Oh, he's, oh he's, he, knows, he knows how you work, doesn't he? Look at him. Uh, uh, oh. He knows exactly what you're gonna do. Oh. Uh, Don't bash him with his shield, you <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Swing the sword! Oh. You're the opposite of the shield, no! Oh. Drink! I need a new drink oh. for anyone else. Wow. No, oh, no, 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 no,
have the drink, but it's there anymore. Anyway, I was going to edit this and make it look like I just went on the top. Yeah, I'm the only one playing the whole time. I don't know how you managed to. Uh, I don't either. Oh, drink! Oh, drink! Your turn, Tom. No, I don't really. I Sorry, don't, mate. Don't remember any of the buttons. <laughs> Everyone right for drinks? Yeah, mm -hmm. thank you. Uh, B's running the dodge. Woo! Left button, um, left shoulder is block, right shoulder is attack, right trigger is heavy attack. Why well, can't I just say no? I can't go now, I'm gonna go back the other way. Because you bloody. You, this, my lord. Do any of these make any difference, Michael? This one? Yeah, he gets shitty at you. Alright. I mean, why, why attack? We should pursue Randall. Cowardice. We have the right way we want. We attack now. Forward, forward to victory. Oh, wow. Middle management for you, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> There's a silhouette of the church there. I'm gonna get in the play next seat. Nice. Do it! Tom, Tom has to. Even though he, yeah, there you go. Even though he went down here, is there still? Oh yeah, here we go. What have I found here now? You got a nice hat. Excellent. Oh, I got hey. it. He's not listening. He's not. Have fun. So, Michael, I noticed a lot of the scenes here in the video game that you've made take place in a church. I assume you'll be voting no when the plebiscite comes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, that's getting All cut right. in just cut. in the middle. You're seeing in the other. Ooh. 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 Is that a trick for you, son? Is that a trick for you? Yeah, have fun. Oh, you're hey. ah, cheeky. Hey! There's some. There. That was the, that was the move of somebody who is sleeping with the developer, oh. just knowing where the little bit of string was. Yeah, yeah. So someone on YouTube here, uh, Harvey Bentley, which sounds like a real cool car. Yeah. Um, has asked, uh, as an aspiring indie developer myself. Where did you start with this project? What was the planning process behind this very big project? Did you start with the core mechanics and then the environment and story? What tips would you have for the noob community just getting started? Uh, okay, so um, so I started with Bannerman. I started with the sword combat first. So that was the first thing I came up with that I actually wanted and I planned out how that would work and the sort of moves you'd have and things like that um, before even going anywhere with towards environment or story or anything like that. Yeah. Um, you know, apart from obviously the fact that it's set at some time where you've got swords <laughs> and that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, mechanics first for me, but I think it depends on the sort of, on what game you're making as to what you do first. Um, if you're yeah. doing some sort of atmospheric experimental thing, then starting on mechanics first is probably not the right approach. But um, in terms of tips for new developers, um, I can just start with a small game, like really small, like as small as you can make it, because it'll inevitably balloon out over time, um, yeah. and you'll make it way bigger than you thought you would, so start with something that's really, really tiny. Um, yeah. Actually, that that sort of leads into another question here from uh, hey. from Mr. Niv Clones, Niv Clones. Um, who was asking, would you rather work in a team or alone? <laughs> I think um, I've, only ever, I've only ever worked alone yeah. um, but this is the first game that I've actually taken to like Steam like rather than just putting it up on something like Game Jolt where you just put it up and you go oh it's finished and it's free um, yeah. but in having done this now I'd probably rather work in a team to be honest because um, okay. when, you, when you're doing things like um, like launching and getting ready to launch um, it's one person's kind of not enough um, yeah okay like yeah like because we I've just launched and it's um and you haven't slept. No, I haven't slept. I haven't slept. Um, over day the two. The day, day two, yeah, that's right. So last night I only got a couple of hours sleep. Yeah. Um, the night before, I think I only got uh, one and a half. So I'm kind yeah. of running on empty right now. Yeah. And that's probably going to continue for a couple of days longer. <laughs> sure. Well, um, let's, let's make the most of this um, inebriated you. <coughs> Ask some more questions. Do you have any, John? Questions? Or Tom? 
Um, the th- uh, the fire there looked a bit like the main character from Thundercats. Is that your inspiration? <laughs> <laughs> Who's the main character in Thundercats? The, the what, fire. The ginger. That's another ginger name. character. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone was asking um, who recorded all the music in the game. Be the guy with the guitar right there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll, 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 let's have a look around. <laughs> well, you rec- you recorded it, Michael. And, and well, Tom recorded a good chunk of it as well. Yeah. Tom actually. recorded some? Tom recorded some, I recorded some, uh, I mixed the majority. Tom, you ended up mixing a track that ended up in the game as well. Um, ah. That was, yeah, remember that? Yeah. <laughs> um. And you you played guitar. Oh yeah, I played in. Do you play opera. guitar? Oh yeah, that's why I got this little baby right here. I was going to say, but, uh, you, had, you had long hair and a beard, as I said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, was, no, I, I actually guitar thought talk. you might be playing guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Give it a go. Man. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want to say anything because I thought it might be a birthmark. But it's guitar. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, and um, a lot of the uh, smaller tracks were recorded here with yeah. Mike and the. Uh, I guess the larger group ones were more yeah. the multi-instrumental tracks. Mm. So yeah, so they're done with Tom. Yeah, things that can be done with like one mic were done here, basically, and yeah. anything that was more complex than that was done. Uh, yeah. yeah. Was it that mic? Yes, it was. Yeah. <laughs> no. This one mic, yes, <laughs> um, recorded a good chunk of the music that you hear. Looks a treat. Do you think? Uh, Mike, in real life, armies would be better if they just fought people in a group rather than spread themselves out over several meters in a subterranean layer. Yes, yes, yeah. actually. Yeah. You'll find historically that not many battles actually occurred um, in, spread out, spread out over basements. several meters in a subterranean <laughs> right. oh, that's layer. Very, that's very interesting. That's very interesting, that. Very interesting. Did you know that? Hey. Hey. Just a quick question. Yeah. Oh, it's gone. Right. It's gone. Um, yes. Oh, here's a tricky one. Um, what are the top three pieces of advice you would give to a budding indie game dev? Good question. Wow. Good top question. three. Top three. Oh, I would have gone four, but good question. <laughs> top three. Um, okay. Right. Hang on. Come back to it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Give, give us a bit. There's three. There's three. I've got to think of three. Yeah. One. Yeah. Get a dog. What are your what are what have been the biggest learning curves for you during this process? Um, learning about how actually going live is more work than preparing to go live. Yeah, is probably one of the biggest things. Um, learning that once the game's actually um, finished, it's you're not finished <laughs> yeah. as much as yeah. as much as it feels like it would be. Yeah, that's probably the the two biggest things that I've learned. But um, and then Three, just exercising the dog. Was there any like other? Was was there any point that you felt like just giving up? Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, like that it sort of happened quite a lot actually. The, yeah. um, I so I don't know. The only reason I sort of kept going is because I um, I don't know. I've done a couple of smaller games previously, mm. and I've, I'm like it's sort of time that I actually do like a commercial game. That's and I'm. Um, you know, I'm sort of like, well, I've done enough of that. I want to actually give it a proper go. And that's all that kind of kept me going, to be honest. Yeah, um, okay. If it wasn't for that, I think I would have actually stopped by now. And I would have gone, oh, mm. I'll come back to that. If this was my first game and it was this big, yeah, I don't think that I would have released it. It would be sitting in a folder somewhere. Yeah, okay. Mm. So it's, yeah, basically good advice for people wanting to make games to go... Make something really small. Yeah, and yeah, see make, it through to completion, and then make your next project yeah, huge um, and yeah. a commercial success. Yeah. <laughs> it's like make something really small and don't expect to be able to sell it. To yeah, is a big thing. Like, like, like when I say I've made other games, smaller games previously, but they're smaller games that I actually released. I made many games prior to that that never ended up getting finished. Yeah, and they went nowhere, but I learned something from it. Um, so like just make a bunch of stuff like copy Mario try different things make a text adventure like learn different things from it and then eventually put it all together and try to actually make a complete product Hmm. here's a question (laughs) I'm going to say that at the start of all of them here's a question weird question this is from Rilkman Rickman 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 Sorry, Rilkman. I didn't mean it. Uh, so, uh, Rickman says, 
Um, Batman was made with uh, Game Maker Studio 1.4. Yes. Are you going to move to Game Maker Studio 2 going forward or something else? And I would say what, also on top of that, yes. what would be the biggest pros and cons of working with Game Maker Studio okay. as opposed to something else? Yeah, right. Um, well, it, like these days it's pretty much, well, it's not the only solution, but you've got Game Maker and you've got Unity. Um, so <laughs> it's yeah. kind of a question between the two. But um, yeah, so I'm thinking, I think I will end up moving to Game Maker Studio um, 2. Mm-hmm. Um, once I, when I go on to do something else after this, um, the only reason I didn't use Game Maker Studio Two with this is it came out enough. halfway through. Yeah, um, and obviously halfway through a project, you don't migrate to something new because that's just suicide. But um, like, yeah, the I don't think I don't see anything wrong with Game Maker Studio Two or anything like that. It's I mean, they're basically stopping support for one point four uh-huh. soon. So it would be kind of silly to continue with it if I'm yeah. going to do something that's going to take a couple of years or anything like that. Yeah. Um, in terms of like pros and cons of Game Maker, is that it's um like it's it's really easy to be able to slap something together quickly like a prototype in Game Maker. Mm-hmm. So you can go, I want to do something like this, and it'll take you, you know, a week, a couple of days, and you'll be able to put it together and then try it and see if it works. Yeah. Um, and then sort of go through and refine it and actually make it proper. Um, the co- some of the cons have to do with the interface, um, like the the room editor that you sort of that you edit all the levels in, um, has some some definite quirks to it. I mean how it works. Like there's just certain things like if you've got one object on top of another, you can't select the object underneath unless you, unless you move it out of the way. Yeah. So you, if you've got mul- like in this, there's multiple objects all laying on top of each other in these finished levels. Mm-hmm. So if I want to edit the bottom one, I have to move everything out of the way edit that yeah, right. and then move everything back down again yeah. and that's just not fun no that's kind of ridiculous but yeah, okay. you, you sort of learn to live with it is that something they fixed in too I don't know I haven't really kept up with what they're doing either. I think I'd, I'd assume so because it seems like something that's something that everyone hated yeah I think yeah. so like a lot of people go so far as to make their levels like as a big bitmap or something in another program like a tile oh, editor okay. and then like just import that to Game Maker and sort of put where the walls are, like as, as triggers and stuff. So, so okay. yeah, that's how bad it is. <laughs> People yeah. look to like work around for it. Die! 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 Me my drink. Give it a I'll have a drink. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I'm like, geez, the stereo sounds really good. Phenomenal <laughs> 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 speaking. Good to play that game. Absolutely. Still, after the finger surgery. <laughs> oh, I'm creepily in the background of your shot, Hayley. That's pretty good. No, but it's kind of good because then when you're like <laughs> asking questions, it's kind of fun. Oh, I see. Because you can just get like a weird blare of you asking questions. <laughs> <laughs> you know when I said I'd, I'd tack on to that question? Mm. That was just another one. That was just the next question, question. Yeah. yeah. Stole that. <laughs> Nick did. Thanks, Rickman Rolfman. <laughs> Evan Norton wanted to know with the archer, there's a chance. Is, oh, there a yeah. chance, is there a chance for them to give up? Can we give them mercy or do we have to kill them? Yeah. Um. So you can't spare them, so that so, yeah, they, they do have a chance to give up and be like, no, don't hurt me, sort of thing. Um, but you don't have to kill them either, because you, with your, if you punch or kick them at that point, you'll knock them out. So that's kind of like your spare option. Uh, okay. So yeah, yep. you can you can just like basically just you can knock them out. You can you can punch them in the face or you can kick them in the nads, <laughs> basically, <laughs> and knock them out. Just like in real is, life. Yeah, just like in real life. Just <laughs> don't have to kill someone. someone. You don't have to kill someone. You can just kick them in the nads. <laughs> Michael, there's a lot of kicking in the nads in this game. There is. Um, were you, as a, a youth, were you kicked in the nads often? <laughs> and how did that prepare you for the game? Yeah. yeah. I don't think I was kicked in the nads. <laughs> how, how did that prepare, <laughs> how did that prepare you? For, how did that bit prepare you for going live on Steam? Yeah, I'll tell you what, it's like, I wish I was kicked in the nads a bit more often, I'd know what it fucking feels like. <laughs> Okay, so I've got a question to ask. Yes. And I know the answer, but yes, no one yes, else yes. does. So, how did you back up the game? Because if you 
your computer blew up. Crap. Yeah, yeah, yeah then, then I'll yeah, then it and all over. And there would just be tears. Um, I back up to three different spots. Um, all over the, the network, so I back up to the laptop, which is connected by the network, I back up to a uh, hard drive connected to the router, and then I, I back up to another local hard drive over here um, as well, connected to my actual computer. So, can one I, master hard drive and three backups. Can I ask you, did your computer... No, no, it's, time? no it's still good. The, um, I thought something would fail by now, but no, she's still kicking. Uh, <laughs> nice, and on top of that, you've got... You've got uh, two free illegal copies of your game. That's right. <laughs> Straight to the pirate bay. <laughs> Does that still exist? It, uh, it's not. It's probably bad. It's like it exists, here, it? It exists yeah. as that joke. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Congratulations uh, for the Bannerman publishment on Steam. Yes. I think you've achieved what every lone indie game developer dream of. Well, you know, I, you know what I dream of? Mm. I dream of some time off, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Um, but yes, thank you. That's very nice. Um, I'm, I'm glad I actually could get it finished, to be honest. Yeah, it's a nice one. This is my favourite level, because it has pelicans. <laughs> Yeah, it is, yeah. <laughs> When's your cool. game coming out, Bailey, you weird thing? <laughs> just, just all about birds. Games? You just walk up to different <laughs> birds and you go, what kind of bird are you now? <laughs> and they all fly off in the fly. And, yeah. That actually sounds like an amazing children's game. Yeah. <laughs> children's game? Children's <laughs> game. You know, when you're learning this the is, names of different birds and they can just tell this you... This is for mature ages. Distribution map. Yeah. Come here, nice pictures so you can yeah. identify. No, nah, fuck it all. Yeah. That's boring. Just have, just have the birds. You take that part. <laughs> <laughs> right? Maybe you, you know what game I'm talking about. <laughs> Maybe you can be a bird. You can. You guys can and have your distribution map bird. game, and I'll have the actual birds <laughs> in it. <laughs> it's Rickman again. Rickman. Um, My oh, man. Yeah. Are there are there any things you wish you'd known beforehand going into this? Um. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, I wish I knew, like, I I wish I knew that releasing a game, like bringing it out for release, doing post release sort of patching and things like that. Yeah. I wish I knew just how much work that actually is. Yeah. Like, I knew I knew there was work involved, like, you, you, you sort of know that, but you go, oh, yeah, look, that's sort of the bit at the end and it's fine. Yeah. Like, I've done more work post release. In, the, in like these two days post release, I think that I have in like the week leading up to release, which you would have thought was like yeah, really big. yeah. I thought that was the, I thought that was the big the big bit. So yeah. like, and I was like, oh, this will be the bit you just do a couple of a couple of days of patching or something, and it's fine. Mm. And then you're done. And um, like, to, I don't know, I can't I can't really see anything to it at the moment, but that's because I went a couple of days in, I suppose. Yeah, so. yeah. exactly. Yeah. I found, yeah, look, I, th there was some stuff that I, I found really fascinating leading up to the release as well, like just how much there is that's involved with actually getting your game onto Steam and... Yeah, yeah. Like, you don't even think about, like, all the little achievement things and little, yeah, little trading graphics cards. Yeah. and, like, yeah. little, yeah, little graphics for each of the things. Yeah, and, uh, emoticons, an icon for your game even, like, you know, <laughs> things like that. Yeah. Like... How long it takes to write a description for your game and to edit a trailer for it yeah. is like, that's, I don't know, I'm pretty sure I spent like a week just on the trailer. Mm. And then I'm pretty sure I spent a week on just the other text, like sort of text on the Steam page and then on my website and stuff as well. Yeah. Um, and, and for like press releases to send out to YouTubers and press and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure that took like a week just writing that sort of stuff to make sure it reads well. Yeah. It's not some cobbled together sort of mess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah, you do. I bonus question, yeah. Bonus question. Bonus question. Um, question. I know it's own. I okay. Did you say bonus, bonus question or bonus question? <laughs> bonus question. Bonus question. Right. <laughs> I know it's early doors. Just all right. Days. Days. <laughs> right, days. it would have been autocorrect. Yeah. I know, it's autocorrect. Got your back, Rickman. Got your yeah, Rickman. <laughs> Where else? Where's my camera? <laughs> oh, yeah. that one, that, got your back, Rickman. <laughs> uh, I know it's only day. I, 
I know it's early days, but uh, do you have any thoughts for your next project, or have you been put off by the whole process of making Batman a reality? <laughs> um, that's fair. Yeah, honest. that's pretty close. Pretty um, um, yeah, I, like I've got things I'd, I'd like to make. But, like I've got yeah. lots of different ideas of you know different games and things like that. Like similar scope. No, smaller. <laughs> yeah, okay. it's a lot smaller. Like I'd love to make. I would like to make another game, and I'd like to make a like a um, smaller scope, like. Um, game that's sort of around like the like the ten dollar sort of mark like mm-hmm. that's sort of got like less content to it um yeah maybe something that's got some procedural generation and things like that It'd be fun to play around with that sort of thing um yeah but yeah i've got heaps of ideas and I, I would like to do another game i, I haven't been put off totally are you thinking, <laughs> are you thinking 2d yeah probably another 2d game because yeah. um despite what some people say it is easier to work in 2d than it is 3d yeah. some people say some people are like oh no it's just as hard i'm like no it's not <laughs> <laughs> Like, yeah, animating takes ages, but animating in 3D takes just as long, and you don't yeah. have to deal with um, 3D vectors, you just get 2D vectors. So. And a whole third plane. Yeah, there. that's right, there's a, there's a whole dimension there. <laughs> yeah. But no, I'd, I'd also like to go back to 3D one day as well, like, that's what all my other titles are in, so yeah. maybe, maybe I'll end up making a move over to Unity and do something in 3D, maybe. Who knows? Because you can do... 3D and game maker, but I've always maintained that you should because it's not made for. <laughs> <laughs> I think in one of your early videos you said it's impossible. It's not impossible. It's just like you can do it, but it's it never you, they never used to have it included. Like mm-hmm. you could never do any 3D and game maker. And I think quite a while ago they brought it in, but it's like when when it's 3D, it's not 3D. It's 3D sort of thing. Yeah. Like it's it's pretty rough. <laughs> and like you definitely wouldn't be. Like you wouldn't be releasing like a commercial game out or anything. Like, uh-huh. but, yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm sure you insert comments of people with all these commercial games and being made them. Yeah, <laughs> put them right there. The game dev wars are on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was <laughs> the crux. That is a lot, and now it's time to start work on your pixelated film noir Blade Runner th- uh, two. <laughs> Mega uh, RPG, it's gonna be so good, can't wait. Multiple endings. I wanna oh, do a film again. All voice <laughs> acted, it's gonna be fantastic. But the man's got his battle. So, you know, every time I do that, I have to do that. I